Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now let's just get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one is to draw the Lewis structure of pH3. So this is phosphine. And when we want to draw out Lewis structures, the first thing I want to do is to find the total number of valence electrons in the molecule. So for pH 3, we have phosphine or phosphorus, sorry, which has five valence electrons. And we have hydrogen, which has one valence electron, and three hydrogen atoms in total. So we have eight valence electrons in pH 3. So now I want to draw out my central atom, which is the phosphorus. And all around it, I'm going to draw out the terminal atoms, which are the hydrogens. So I'm just going to draw a single bond to all of the hydrogens. And now hydrogen is content because it only has that one electron to share. It doesn't need any more lone pairs. And for our total valence electrons, we need eight. And so far I've drawn six. And this is because each bond contains two electrons being shared. So now I just need two more electrons and they'll be lone pairs on my phosphorus. And now this is the final Lewis structure of pH 3. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. The Lewis structure of phosphine, pH 3, is three hydrogen atoms bonded to a phosphorus atom, which is in the center, with a lone pair of electrons on top of the phosphorus atom. The Lewis dot structure represents the arrangement of electrons, shown as dots, between atoms in a molecule. The atoms must follow the octet rule or the tendency of atoms to prefer to have eight electrons in the valence shell. The individual formal charge of each atom, as well as the overall formal charge of the molecule, must be satisfied. In the drawing, the electron dot structure, uh, they mean phosphine, of pH 3, step 1 is to draw the skeletal structure of pH 3 with phosphorus at the center. Okay, so step two is when they calculated their total valence of electrons. I usually do that first, but it doesn't really matter. And here they have five plus three, which is equal to eight. Step three is to distribute the electrons as dots. Note the octet rule must be satisfied for phosphorus atom. However, hydrogen can only share two electrons. Step four, replace the two electrons with a single bond between phosphorus and hydrogen. And then a lone pair of electrons will be left at the top of the central phosphorus atom. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank you. 